So I was trying to do a video where I would become the Boom Totem, and I would do that by putting on four AoE buff perks, run around the map, and then give different survivors buffs. But the build sucks dog dick, and I was getting really tilted. I was gonna scrap the entire thing, but the last game was pretty entertaining, although I did lose my cool and rage in it. But honestly, I don't care. A lot of content creators feel like whenever they're doing content for YouTube, for Twitch, whatever, that they have to act a certain way. When in reality, it's fair to just be true and honest to yourself. If you're angry and you record some stuff and it's good content, put it up, who cares? So that's what I did. I don't usually act like this and I'm sorry if it bothers you, but this is how I play when I get tilted. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Good thing I didn't bring a freaking map because this build fucking sucks already. Might as well not bring a map on an indoor fucking map. What's the point? This, okay, let me explain why this build's so fucking poo poo. You might get use out of like one or two of these perks every once in a while. Maybe. Literally, maybe. Like right now, we're getting use out of Prove Thyself, which is good. That's really good. But we might get use out of it one more time. We might get use out of Leather a couple times. But besides that, and it's like, these other two perks are just so dog. They're so terrible. And why would you even want to be a boon totem in the first place? Like, without this build, you don't have any exhaustion perk. You don't have resilience. You don't have any perks to really boost how you heal other people. It's just such a shit build. Complete dog waste of time build, dude. Don't run this build. It saves four seconds off of this heal. That's good value, right? That's great value. Man, that must be the best value in the game. Not really, honestly. See, Kindred. Just running Kindred would be better than running this entire build. Build so dog. Alright, time to put my YouTube voice back on because this is actually going to be a good game. <laughs> Never being chased by this baby ghost face. Now we're out of there. We're going to run over here to this pallet. Very safe pallet. He respects it, so we make a bunch more distance. Man, this build's really great, haha. -ha. I scared off the ghost face two times. Might as well do this totem, right? Hee <laughs> hee. Because this definitely, you know, this helps with totems. This build really helps with totems. Such a great build. It's a great fucking build. So glad I'm making this video. Oh! You <laughs> big juicer. Uh. He threw the pallet down. Not cool, not cool. That's a wall. Oh, I'm so garbage, dude. And she dead hearted but got exhausted. Alright, we're back. Um Mike happened to be turned off for the first half of the video. Really unfortunate. You probably shouldn't be staying unhealed versus a ghost face, but we kind of need some more gem pressure. You respect that like I respect my mother and father. I'll let you go in front. I was going to body block her. <gasps> CJ? CJ, 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 she's there. What the fuck was that? <laughs> she's a console player. She's a console player. That's why that happened. She tried to throw it on the pallet, but she's a console player. So she healed instead, because it's the same button. Don't run this build, dude. It's such a dog fucking worth this fucking build. It's a complete waste of time.